Welcome. Um, I'm Deborah Sweet. I'm the director of World Can't Wait. And we initiated this panel through our project, War Criminals Watch, which has made it um, a mission to track the war criminals from the Bush regime. And uh, by popular acclaim, we may be expanding that project to the current administration, which is exactly the reason we're here to, to talk today. Um, people may have seen walking into the building that in front of PACE, there's a model of an M9 Reaper drone, which is part of a project called No Drones, KMW Drones. That's designed to bring the models of the technology out to the public living in this country and have people confront how our US war is now being fought. Uh, increasingly, we know, and we've just learned recently in the last couple of months, that the United States Air Force is now training more pilots for unmanned vehicles then they are training pilots for manned vehicles. Okay. If you can absorb the level to which the use of drones has increased in the last three plus years under Barack Obama is huge. There are drones now in 46 countries. A lot of this has originated from U.S munitions production. Some of these drones are being used for surveillance purposes and as we know from what little we're able to glean, there are two major drone weapons programs run by the United States. One is run by the Defense Department and the other, the larger one that has absolutely no oversight, is run by the CIA. These are the drones that are being used now, as we know, in at least six countries. Afghanistan, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, Libya, and Iraq. All in general in that part of the Middle East and the world that is hugely contested right now. And I think everyone will remember that a US drone came down over Iran several months ago, and there was um, a serious demand by the US State Department um, to Iran to give us our drone back, which was found <laughs> flying over your country. <laughs> Most of these drones, of course, don't come down and are incredibly destructive of civilian life. Nevertheless, the United States always announces, especially under the Obama administration, that whenever they're used, X number of insurgents or militants were killed. And those of us, I think, that remember Vietnam know that, that um, whenever a village was attacked, it was always the Viet Cong and the NLF soldiers that were killed. And we began to know very clearly and very quickly because of the US military, who honestly reported what was going on, that in very, very many cases, those were civilians that were being killed. Same old shit. The same old bullshit. And I say that fully knowing and understanding that I'm on camera right now. We're gonna talk the truth today, and I'm very, very, honored and pleased to be able to present um, two panelists who are going to present to us substantively on the U.S. drone war. And if you notice the topic, um, the name of this panel, it is Stopping the U.S. Drone War. Stopping the U.S. Drone War is how we're coming at this. Um, here, nine years, well, one day shy of nine years of the anniversary of the U.S. invasion and occupation of Iraq, March 19th and 20th, 2003. We're here today at the Left Forum in New York City, a panel called Stopping the U.S. Drone Wars. And I'd like to present the two panelists. I'm going to just give you an idea of who they are now and, 
then they'll speak one after the other. And as soon as possible, we'd like to welcome everyone into the discussion. Um, our first panelist is Zara Ahmed, who is going to be, she's um, studying the law right now. And she's going to be talking to us today primarily about the effects of the U.S. drone war on Pakistan and, the, and some of the important legal aspects of it, which we can um, infer to be actually the illegal aspects of it. But she's going to, you know, help us understand how the use of drones is being currently justified um, by the Obama administration growing out of what Bush began. And secondly, Ed Kinane, who is one of the Hancock 38. And if you followed this, you know that upstate, um, and this is true all over the country, but New York State has one of the bases where the drones are being flown, piloted from. Um, and Ed is part of the Hancock 38, this is Hancock Air Force Base, um, that over the last several years, um, the activists from the upstate drone action and some of us supporting from around the rest of the country have been very much engaged in trying to get the drones out of Hancock um, ser through serious, nonviolent, direct action protest. The Hancock 38 have been found guilty of obstructing the base and are um, in the process of being sentenced. And Ed will talk about this battle and why it is that we should be opposing and stopping the drone wars. Um, so again, I'm Deborah Sweet. I'll be moderating the discussion when we'll bring people in um, in just a little bit after we hear first from Zora and then from Ed. <laughs> 